So today I will be doing a repasting of the Acer Predator Helios, this laptop, the Acer Predator Helios 300 2019. Uh, repasting really helps in reducing uh, temperatures while doing while carrying out tasks heavy CPU and GPU tasks such as gaming video editing and uh, the methods that I show here uh, may apply to virtually all laptops now this particular laptop is a gaming oriented laptop and, and the battery is not removable like most uh, other laptops the battery has to be removed after you have uh, removed the the top case so to repaste i'll be using this the arctic mx4 2019 edition uh, it has good reviews in on uh, Amazon um, and other people have uh, and, and a price good price to performance uh, ratio you just need your standard tools a Phillips screwdriver or a star screwdriver depending on where you have PH0 40 millimeter um, I use this Tronic screwdriver. Uh, you may also need these. These are op optional. This is to clean the existing paste. Seventy percent isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. So let's begin. So you need to carefully. Remove ten screws for this particular model. I usually like to use this to organize my screws. screws in total try to make them sequentially Once you have removed the 10 screws, make sure all 10 are out. Yeah, I missed one. Don't be in a hurry. These are the fans for the CPU and GPU and the battery. The first thing you need to do is disconnect the battery.
okay then just flip it back and uh, make sure the power there's no power Wi-Fi cable. Speed checker. That is the tape you have to properly remove it. I've removed the screws also make sure you remove the CPU header CPU or uh, I think it's the GPU header for this fan and the Wi-Fi card uh, the two black and white connectors are connected like this so you then need to remove once you remove these screws and the header you can see it's held by some tape you need to gently remove it then these screws notice they are they have numbers in them they are sequentially numbered and uh, like for example these are from one one two three four five six seven and the last one you also need to remove this header here just connect it here gently just use a flat if in case these screws do not come out with uh, this for example Philips what I used was a flat but gently so as you don't so this header was here and then just try to wiggle it And the assembly can just pop out like so. So as you can see I have removed the fan assembly. So you can see the CPU and GPU dies. In a moment I'll be cleaning it off with isopropyl and as well as the 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 heat sink isopropyl alcohol pad I'm carefully uh, cleaning off you can see I've uh, removed the paste on the GPU and 
now the CPU. So I'm doing the same for the heat sink, till it's completely shiny, uh, all the paste should be removed. So I'll be applying this paste, the Arctic MX4 2019. back here it is mx4 So gently place the fan assembly as you can see and screw in the screws gently by the numbers and also return the header. So after uh, securing the fan assembly uh, then put the case back the case gently make sure all sides are in and then return all the 10 screws uh, now we'll see the uh, temperatures that we are getting uh, with the Arctic MX4 so these are my uh, throttle stop settings uh, i use this to undervolt the cpu and the as you can see this speed shift uh, and uh, there is the offset voltage negative 145.5 might experiment with 150 and uh, all cores are at 3.2 gigahertz as you can see 
so as you can see these were my temperatures uh, before I was maxing out the GPU at 86 degrees Celsius and the CPU was reaching 75 degrees Celsius now you will see after repasting what were the temperatures now you can see the after the repaste uh, the gpus is in, in 60s 60 degrees 67 maxing out only at approximately 70 71 degrees celsius and cpu same uh, 71 uh, 72 degrees celsius so that's quite a drop temperature so the paste uh, performance is uh, quite good as you can see so these are the settings So these are the temperatures I get when uh, video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, you can see the CPU is between 45 and 50 degrees and the GPU is at almost the same between 45 and 50 degrees. If you found this video helpful, uh, kindly subscribe and if you've got any questions, uh, comment. Thank you for watching.